is Tuesday and I was gonna start vlogging it this morning then I just completely forgot to pick up the camera but I am leaving Dollar Tree right now um, I needed to pick up some last minute things for a DIY that I want to go up on Thursday it's an open collab that I've been wanting to do so I was on a hunt for some mirrors that I needed for this specific DIY and I finally found it been to like three or four different Dollar Trees then of course I ended up picking up a bunch of other things so I will do another haul I guess when I get home even though I just did a Dollar Tree haul in my previous vlog hopefully you guys aren't sick of those hauls I just find so many cute things and I just really love to do my DIYs and I like to give them as gifts as well so right now it is almost one o'clock I am going to head back to my side of town I'm on the old side of town that I used to live on so I need to go back home I don't know if I want to make lunch I think I'm gonna pick up lunch maybe we'll go to Chick-fil-a me and Madison and then I will do a little haul for you guys and maybe vlog the rest of the day sorry that my vlogs are so boring but this is just what I do all day so my life isn't that interesting but Madison she's so not nice to mama she was screaming in Dollar Tree and I had to get her some chips again this girl I bring her so many snacks from home and she like inhales it and then she starts crying for more anyways I'm gonna stop talking and I'm going to head over to Chick-fil-a so I'll see you guys in a little okay guys so I actually have a few minutes before I have to head out to pick up Ryan from school I have probably five ten minutes before I have to leave so I thought I'll just do the haul right now really fast before I get Ryan so I'm gonna show you things that I bought from Walmart first just because I barely bought anything yeah I went to Walmart two days in a row but my excuse is I bought a pair of leggings and I did not try them on yesterday because I had Madison with me and she was super cranky and when I got home they were just way too tight on me. I didn't like how they looked. So I had to bring that back for a different size. And while I was there, of course, I ended up picking up a few more things. So I'll just show you guys what I ended up picking up while I was there. I also did a shop with me there. It was really hard to film while I was in Walmart for the shop with me, which should already be up. If not, then look out for it. Um, <clears throat> because there were so many employees and I didn't know if they were going to tell me to stop recording. There was one guy who looked like a manager and he was just, like staring at me and he was watching me the entire time. So I didn't get that many clips, but I did get a few. But anyways, the first thing I bought was this Garnier Fruit Teas Nourishing Treatment One Minute Hair Mask. And it is a coconut extract one. So I bought the avocado one a few months back and I just ran out of it and I really liked how it worked. So I thought I would try this one. Um, it's just a different smell and I think it's also supposed to do something different to your hair. I think the avocado one was for nourishment and this one is more to help with like split ends, I believe. So I'm gonna try this one out, see how it works. And then I just bought this Sally Hansen Hard As Nail Extreme Wear in 174 Camelot. I don't know. I just thought that was a really pretty color. I wanna do my nails. Um, the Kiss Fake Nails, and I want to paint them that color. And then I picked up my favorite lipstick, or one of my favorite lipsticks is by Maybelline. It's in 657 Nude, and it's a matte lipstick. And Madison, I was almost out of it anyways. I only had a little bit left. Madison got a hold of it, and she ate my lipstick. So she ruined it. So I had to buy a new one. It's just a really, really nice color. I'm obsessed with this color. And Madison got a hold of the other one. So that's how it looks. So I bought another one since I didn't have it anymore. Then I just bought this little um, spray bottle. Madison also got a hold of her detangler and she got rid of the top. I don't know, she pulled off the cap part and then she had chewed on the plastic inside. So now I can't use her detangler. So I just bought a bottle so I can put it in there. And then the last few things I thought this was cool. I found some hair masks. I need to get better with my hair masks. I haven't been doing it that much. I was tempted to literally buy every hair mask I saw there to try it out, but I told myself not to. They were super affordable. They're only $2 each, but $2 does add up. So I only got three for now to add, um, not add, to try out. I do want to go back. I saw some that were overnight masks. I've never tried an overnight mask, and then just other ones that look interesting. But so the first one is, um, I don't know, the brand, I guess it's called Lindsay Home. And it, this one says, Bye Bye Heat Tool Abuse self-heating steam hair masks and it says it's no parabens sulfates petroleum or sulfates so i thought we'd try this out it has argan oil macadamia oil and five plant keratins so it looks like that and there's two steps 
So step one is um, a cream serum, and then step two is a oil steam hair cap. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. And then the next one I got is for split end. It also has like a two part. So step one is a restore mask, and the step two is a leave-in serum. So I thought I would try this out. Is that by the same brand? No, this brand is called Shining Nature Purity. So I thought I would try that one out. And then the last one I got came with three, which I thought was pretty good for $2. And it is the brand S-O-O-A-E New York. I don't know. So the first one is an intense repair three-day hair mask. Second one is the 10th three-day hair mask. Well, they're all intense three-day hair masks, but one is avocado and then this one is honey and then i'm not sure what this one is it doesn't say tea tree so this one's tea tree rosemary this one's honey avocado this one is argan oil not honey i thought it was honey but that's how those look like so i have all those deep conditioning masks to try on my hair so let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to update you guys on how they work so now let's move on to Dollar Tree. The first thing I got was this really cute birthday bag. I love buying my birthday bags and balloons and all that stuff from Dollar Tree. They have so many cute things. So we have a birthday party to go to this weekend. So I thought I would get that. And then I found this. I thought it was so cute to put on my desk. So it is a file folder and it's just cardboard and you assemble it. Super easy to assemble and I just liked the design on it. So I'm gonna put that on my desk. Then I just bought a huge poster board for a DIY I will be doing. Next is going to be some more of those mirrors. I'm not gonna switch it around like that just because you're gonna see the reflection, but I bought five more of the mirrors. I bought a few yesterday, I needed more. I found them at another Dollar Tree, so now I can do my DIY with that. And then when I was at Walmart, I completely forgot to buy toilet paper. We need toilet paper. I didn't feel like going back. So since I was already in Dollar Tree, I just picked up the Angel Soft four pack of toilet paper so you can hold this over until I can get back to Walmart or Target. And then I also bought a birthday card for the birthday party that we are going to on Sunday. Then I decided to buy Ryan a coloring book. I tell you guys all the time, Ryan is obsessed with Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. So I found this coloring book, so I grabbed that for him. Then also for the birthday party this weekend, I thought I would throw this in her um, gift bag that I'm making her. So this is just Disney Animal Friends Pretty Pets. It's a coloring and activity book. And then to go with that, I bought a Disney book. I thought it was really cute. It's hardback and then it's a story inside. So I know I thought that was really cute. So bought her that. And then I bought a ruler. I need a ruler for a lot of my DIYs and I don't know why I didn't have one. Then I just bought these glitter crayons to go with the coloring book. And then guys, I found more of the canvases. So I showed you guys yesterday a few canvases that I bought and they are a little bit smaller than this one. I found some that are a little bit bigger. These are eight by 10. So I bought three of these and I will be doing some DIYs with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to like paint on them or if I'm going to like do pictures on them. I'm not sure, but whatever I do, I might record. I don't know, let me know if you guys want me to. And then I just bought three of these white buckets because I want to organize all of Ryan's school snacks in the pantry right now. They're just thrown everywhere. And also the baskets that I already have in there are just way too tiny. So everything is like overflowing. So I bought three of these white ones. And I think that is it. Oh, also um, Madison, I told you guys she got cranky. So I had to open a little thing of Lay's sour cream and onion and she ate like half of it already. So that is the end of my Dollar Tree and Walmart haul part two because I know I already did one in my first vlog. But anyways, now I need to clean up this mess. Oh, I still, oh I have two more things. I lied, two more things. Just some candy I bought, or three more things. Okay, do you wanna find things? Okay, so I just bought some candy. I have a ceramic pumpkin in my kitchen. It is empty, I wanted to throw some candy in it. So I bought some Twix and some caramel M&Ms. And then now the last thing is some moss for some DIYs. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday and I'm about to head out the door. It is 3.30 and we have a birthday party to go to. It starts at 4 p.m. So I'm about to leave the house right now. It's just gonna be me and Ryan. I was going to take Madison with me for the party, but she's not in the best of mood right now. She's super cranky. So I just don't wanna take her and then have to leave early. 
because I just feel bad for Ryan. Every time we go someplace, a lot of times we have to leave early because of Madison. So I'm going to leave Madison behind with Robert. And it'll just be me and Ryan going to the birthday party. It is at Chuck E. Cheese. Ryan is super excited to be going because he's never been to Chuck E. Cheese. So he's been talking about it all day. So that is what we are about to do. I thought I would vlog today since we are going to a birthday party. And then I'll just combine this vlog with Tuesday's vlog for you guys. So I'm about to head out the door. So I will vlog a little bit once we get to Chuck E. Cheese. Hey guys, so we just pulled up to Chuck E. Cheese. It is 3.51. Party starts at 4, but I don't see any of the cars here. Um, Because I know a few of the cars from the girls, and I don't see any of the cars here. So I'm going to wait in the car for a few more minutes, get and the then boys. I will head in. Don't forget the boys, too. Don't forget the boys. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to wait in the car for a few more minutes, and then I will head in, and I will vlog a little bit. I'm not sure how much I'm going to vlog, just because there's going to be a ton of other kids in there. So I'll try to get as much um, footage as possible. Are you excited? Yeah. How excited are you? Super duper duper. It's nice for it just to be me and Ryan. We, I always usually have Madison with me, and a lot of times we have to stop doing things or go home early. And I never do anything just like one on one with Ryan. Yes, yes. And I'm always one on one with Madison because Ryan's in school. So it's great just to have him. And it's just mommy and Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. We're going to wait. Go we're going to wait in the car for a few minutes and then we will. Ryan, say hi. Ryan. Hi, Bye. Are you excited? Yeah. I have a ticket. You have a ticket? Cool. Day, huh? While well, me and brother were at Chuck E. Cheese, what did you do with daddy? You playing music? That's her little piano. She loves it. It's like a little elephant. Hey, you gotta go brush your teeth. What are you doing? You wanna stand up? <laughs> you are so hyper. It's time for bed. Oh my god. She's so hyper, guys. I don't think she's gonna go to bed anytime soon. You gotta clean up your room. Clean up your room and go night night, okay? Can we clean up your room? No, you're not going to help mommy? Nope, she's not going to help me. She's going to eat that cardboard, huh? How's that taste? Oh, guys, I don't know if I ever showed you, but this is the bed that Ryan, not Ryan, um, Robert made for Madison. I found the idea on Pinterest. It was supposed to be made out of, let me see if I can get a better angle of it. It was supposed to be made out of wood, but he decided to make it with metal, and it came out really cute, but that's how it looks. I need to fix it. I put some like pink tulle all around it to decorate, but Madison, the sheep's are messing it up. So I think I'm just gonna take it down. But anyways, I need to get this one to bed. You're already in pajamas, but we forgot to brush your teeth. So we gotta go brush your teeth, okay? Oh.
Okay guys, so we are now back home. Obviously you just saw me put Madison to bed and brush her teeth. Now Ryan is in the bath. I'm giving him a quick bath. It is almost eight o'clock, which means it's bedtime. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's his bedtime. He has school tomorrow. So I'm going to finish taking him a bath and then give him a snack. Although he already ate at Chuck E. Cheese, they have food over there. They have like pizza, chicken nuggets, cake, and just a bunch of other food. He did already eat at Chuck E. Cheese, but he did request a snack. He said he wants toast and carrots. So I'm gonna give him some toast and carrots for his snack before bed. So he needs to hurry up in the bath. So I just want to update you guys on what we are doing. I'm probably going to end the vlog very soon. I still have to fold some laundry the kids laundry and then clean up the kitchen a little bit maybe i'll vlog a little bit when i'm folding with some laundry and when ryan's eating his snack and when i put him to bed and then i'll probably just end the vlog and then i'm going to combine this one like i told you guys earlier into tuesday's vlog so i'm gonna get ryan out of the bath because if not he will stay in that bath all night so i'm gonna get him out and then i'll see you guys in a minute how's your snack good i like the carrots <gasps> Get all that sugar out of my mouth. <laughs> You're so cute. Mm. So that's his snack for tonight. And that's what he requested carrots and toast. Yep. And then after you eat that, we're going to brush your teeth, read a bedtime story, and go night night, right? So you have school tomorrow. Yep. Okay, so finish your snack, and then once we're done, we'll brush your teeth, okay? Okay, buddy? As always, I did not finish vlogging for the rest of this day. I completely forgot to pick up the camera. So I just want to jump on here really fast and end the vlog, close it out. I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's vlog, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also, turn on your notification bell. And if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you join me and my YouTube family. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys always supporting and watching my videos. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.